Hello Leo, welcome to your reading for March, the beginning of March, because there will be a mid-March reading. Um, hello, my name is Amber, nice to meet you. If you're returning, thank you for lending your energy to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you'd like to know when the next reading will be posted. Um, also, this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. Uh, check your moon, rising, Venus. If you're looking for a love reading, um, I do a reading called Love Story. Um, that'll be out next week. Or you can wait to the end of this video and there will be a, a link for you to click on mid-February's Love Story. Um, if you need a private reading for your own personal energies, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below or you can go to the website up above. I am on social media. Check that out. And also, um, Patreon if you want to get these readings early or you want access to any of the extended readings. Okay, so, uh, Leo, um, your energy cards for the beginning of March, we have Pluto, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Okay, so what's interesting about this, Leo, is I feel like your life has been through some changes with Pluto. Um, it's kind of like maybe something was stuck, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But it feels like a renewal or maybe a new cycle or a new way of doing things. Like you're adjusting to the new normal. Um, I feel like it had a lot to do with your intuition or just being receptive about your partner or a situation and adjusting to that emotionally nurturing the new change you know like not fighting it not trying to change it but just going along with it and now you're on a journey through that energy okay in March okay so your overall energy is the mountain know that you are protected as you face challenges but remain cautious okay so continue to keep the momentum, okay? This is not the end. Um, I feel like you're in the midst, closer to the beginning, but in the midst of this change. You're learning how to adjust to it. So there are going to be like issues and hurdles for you to get over to get there. But it feels divinely guided. Um, this feels like a star to me. They're saying the star of David. I don't know. Um, it just, rem it, it, it's like... There's still little things for you to get through, but it's all divinely guided in a plan, so you're okay. Your biggest impact during this time is conflict. Yeah, so this is like getting through each hurdle. Um, there's one big hurdle that I feel like we're going to talk about, but I, f I don't feel like it's the only one, you know? Um, but I feel like it's there to help you build foundations. These are events that are going to help you grow and help the situation get better. Then we have the Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuition, and Patience. Be kind to the person that you're with, okay? Because there are a lot of things I feel like you maybe don't understand or um, you're like, why is this happening? Why are we going through this? But <coughs> I feel like there's a bigger picture, a bigger story here. Patience, intuition, um, I just feel like it's okay. You just have to move forward. It's hard to accept the new beginning because I, I feel like you don't see the foundations yet, but just know that you're headed that way. Spirit energy, we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Beautiful. Is that helpful? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So Leo, this card tells me that spirit is with you during this transformation time. Um, also, you may see signs from people that have passed. One of you, there's somebody that's get that's sick. Um, or, so I'm getting this message that someone is passing away, 
okay? Um, they're sick. And it's hard for you to understand, or they already have passed away. It's something that's hard for you to understand, but it's okay. I feel like I needed to say that. <clears throat> I feel like you're dealing with not having this person in your life anymore and it's really rough. It's really rough. Um, but you're going to go through a healing process. Okay? All right. Okay, Leo. You have Seek, which is the Hermit in this deck. Choose your battles and rebuild. Absolutely. All these things are happening right now to make you stronger. Um, I feel like something happens, but you fight through it. You learn something about yourself. You learn your strength. You learn who you are. You learn the things that you can handle. And it just makes you stronger and sets you up for success in the future. You may spend some time alone to process, to analyze, but you have to fight yourself out of the heaviness of what's going on, okay? star seven of cups chariot strength six of swords justice high priestess Oof, we got a lot of major arcanas leo Five of coins, judgment, bottom of the deck, you have the sun and the eight of cups. <sighs> Something's leaving your life. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is your time to express your feelings about what that is. Okay. Um, to really get through it and realize that in the end it's going to be okay. You know, that's, that's so heavy. That energy is so heavy. Um, okay. Also, I feel like you're traveling into a new way of loving, a new way of life. Um, that's actually brighter than the old one. You just have to be confident enough that that's what's going to come out of it for you but the sun card i love that it's in your overall energy because it highlights through everything that we're going to talk about that everything's okay there's a uh, an enlightenment here there's success at the end of this tunnel okay okay so we're going to talk about the major arcana we have the Star, the Chariot, Strength, Justice, High Priestess, and the Judgment. I just noticed that they're all on the edges here. So you and your environment is going through something really significant. You and maybe the person that you're going through as well. So if you're in a cup, if you're a coupled, um, both of you are having uh, a transformation of self beliefs, feelings, relationship, all that jam. You're dealing with something together, you know? So, <laughs> the first row. I 
I feel like you're healing from something. There's a sense of vulnerability in it as well, Leo. And I feel like your partner, your environment, um, spirit, is really trying to help you through the situation. Um, they believe in you. I feel like things are up in the air about a situation. Like you're not sure how it's going to play out. You're hoping for the best. You may be spending a lot of time with yourself, but I feel like you're supported or you have support through through the situation. You're also gaining knowledge because I feel like you don't want to stay hidden. You don't want to stay sad. You don't want to stay in a negative situation. So you are being optimistic about the future. You have a vision and your vision is positive, you know. So as we move forward, um, I see that you find out some information that you have to get through. And this feels very hard for me. Like the energy feels very hard. Like it's something rough. But I feel like you're slowly getting through it. It's more of a mental acceptance. You have to see the fairness in the situation, is what I feel, Leo. And it feels hard for you to do that. So um, it feels like you're dipping down into sadness and then back up again. You know, like, mm -mm, like a teeter-totter. But you're realizing that if you stay down, you can't help the other person. You can't help yourself. You can't help the situation. So you get back up. But then you have sad days. You have days where it's hard. Okay. I do feel like something is approaching. They're saying to me swiftly approaching. So something is... Uh, coming up fast some sort of due date some sort of uh like the the situation is picking up momentum okay so now you're starting to listen to your intuition and i feel like it's because you don't have control over the situation so you're like i have to give this to something higher or bigger than me It's interesting because I feel like the time comes. The time comes that you have to put all that energy that you were gaining into action. And you have to choose to see the fairness in the situation as hard as it may be. And keep pushing forward. What is going on, Leo? Okay, so we're going to start clarifying. I'm going to start with the star. <clears throat> this is realizing that you have to make a choice for your own happiness, even though there's a lot of burdens or heaviness going on. You may have a lot of responsibility. You may be working on a lot of things. Yeah, um... So I feel like you're trying to find your happiness again or renew your optimism about the situation, okay? So you're making a decision to <clears throat> You're making a decision to 
Okay. So I feel like you're scrambling to hold on to the material aspect of this. So this could be like just a person or a situation. Like you're trying to hold on to it um, instead of thinking about what the problems are. Yeah, something that you feel like is a big part of your life is leaving or going to leave. And your main focus is getting that back. Be careful about lying to yourself or just going along with something and not seeing the truth in the situation. I'm trying to generalize this, okay? So, Seven of Cups. <clears throat> we have the Five of Cups, Justice. I'm going to leave it in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is sad news, a sad situation that you feel is not fair, right? And it's almost like you don't even want to deal with the parts that are unfair and only focus on the good parts. But <clears throat> that doesn't bring about balance in doing that, right? It's not going to help you progress forward. It's not going to help the situation move. So the chariot... It's almost like somebody knows that you're sad um, because no matter what they do or say to you, it's not really helping. But I feel like <clears throat> they're trying to help. They're trying to be positive um, because they see you either withdrawing or spending time to yourself or in your head a lot. And they're trying their best to <clears throat> get you out of that. You know, and it's almost like this person is sad or going through their own things and it's hard for them to to do that. They're also reevaluating their life. They're also thinking about the future. They're also trying to not think about the sad situation as well. OK, strength card. It's like they have to be strong for you. <clears throat> So we have the Magician in Reverse, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, and Temperance. Okay, we can go back up right now. You're looking at the situation and realizing that you really don't have control over it. I feel like you want to have control over it, but you're seeing that you really don't. You just have to make the right decisions. You have to choose the right thoughts or put yourself in the right mindset. This is more about being patient <clears throat> with how things are unfolding because there's nothing that you can <clears throat> excuse me that you can physically do to change it. Okay. I do feel like mentally you're trying to move forward. Um, like I said. You're not clear on how things are going to go, but I feel like you um, are trying to have hope, you know? You don't have all the answers to whatever this is. You don't, but you're pushing through because all you have is your faith. It's like you see something not working out or um, it's like you see the inevitable coming, but... You're still trying to push through. I'm hearing mental disconnection, so you may disassociate a few times during this. Okay. Okay. So I feel like you're trying to deal with whatever you got going on and work or deal with what you got going on in your relationship. You're trying to balance your life and keep things balanced. This could be another person in your environment that's trying to do this for you. Um, the, the, the main purpose here is healing and taking the steps about how the new, <clears throat> the new future is going to be. I feel like somebody is offering help, stability, um, something to help you through a situation and 
I feel like they're just doing. <laughs> <coughs> Bless me, sorry. That's because of the incense. That's why I'm coughing and stuff too. Um, they're just trying to offer a more stable environment. Yeah, so you don't have to worry. So you don't have to worry. Okay, High Priestess. This is realizing that eventually you're going to have to move on with your life. Um, or get through this sad time or this unfortunate time. But the thing is, it's like you really don't have anything to focus on yet. And you're not feeling very confident about choosing another thing to focus on. Or you may have low self-esteem at this time or you're just sad. But I feel like this is the time that you connect more with spirit, your intuition or religion. Whatever that is for you. Maybe you're meditating more. getting closer to your family, whatever that is for you. So I just heard the time comes. Yeah, the time comes where the thing that you have been focused on happens. And um, I feel like it's hard. So all the lies that you told yourself or the deceptive things you told yourself just to get through the day to day, it gets to a point where I feel like you just feel sad. You feel let down. It's almost like you need a little time to yourself. Yeah, things are not perfect right now, but you realize that you can't hold on to what has happened and you have to move forward yeah because I feel like you're really focused on the past looking at pictures memories what could have been what was um I feel like it does help you get through it but you can't take your time to heal is what I'm gonna say <clears throat> but you can't stay here it's not healthy to stay in that energy Leo, this is heavy. I should have known. Pluto is a heavy hitter like Sagittarius is to me. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, Saturn, not Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Confidence, Dragon, and Renewal. Yeah, something really big happens that you think is going to be one of the hardest things for you to deal with or you don't realize that it's heavy until you get there but I feel like it unveil it unveils some strength that you didn't know that you had in yourself um you come out of this anew I feel yeah this is just going to be a sensitive time for you because you don't know what to do next this is definitely like a healing moment I feel like I just want to take a pause for you that's what it feels it feels like I just need to take a pause but you can't stay in the pause you know um, it's like life is new after this because you're going through something heavy Oof. Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's do journaling cards and then a to-do card. So this one flew out. What is my life's purpose? Uh, so let's see, we're going to do heavy hitters. <laughs> what is the vision for my life and what is the universe seeking to express through me? And what can I do to nurture my mind, body, and soul more? Positive change. The opposite of an intuitive thought is a self-critical thought. 
Whenever you put yourself down or think that you are not enough, reframe the statement. For example, turn I am not good enough into what if I was good enough. Turn I am not very smart into I am doing my best or kindness is my strength. What are some other positive statements you can think of to reframe the self-critical thought? There we go. Okay, Leo, um, I love you. Blessings in your life. Take a deep breath. I love you. I wish you nothing but the best, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.